Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again tonight. Uh, this one is actually going to be part two of my Shelly Art Bloom Tester one. Yeah. So this one is, the first one I'm doing right here is everything needed or everything that I use when it comes to Shelly Art Bloom. Like using the ultra deep base, the varnish in my paint, and all that other science project stuff, you know? So, tree leaf green, purple, some gold, and black cell activator. I did take out it, me blowing out the cell activator. Um, basically, with this one, what I wanted to do is just do a side-by-side -side comparison with colors, same colors, just one with acrylic and one with Shelly's bloom ingredients. So, I'll get you down for a quicker look here in just a second. And, yeah, so... I mean, I expected it to work, obviously, because it's the same, it's the stuff I use for all my blooms whenever I do it, so, yeah, I blew too hard in one spot, I'm not going to sweat it, this is just a tester, so, I'm going to spin this out a little bit more, and then I'll get on to using my acrylic paint, now I am going to use the same cell activator that I use for both, um, so, I mean, it is Australian Floetrol, and I do know that it does have that sell up properties to it, I guess is what you'd say. So maybe it's just Australian Floetrol, but you know, this is a cheaper route of doing blooms, in my opinion. Uh, my base paint is actually the paint that I normally do for my uh, Dutch pours. So, I mean, yeah, got that. Uh, my colors are mixed with American Floetrol and uh, gloss median and varnish from Creative Inspirations. So that's the only thing I have my colors mixed with. Um, and then cell activator is the same. I'll get you down for a closer look. Uh, again, I mean, you can't really, I don't know. Looks great to me. I mean, if you're trying to do a Shelly Bloom and you don't have all the ingredients for that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to spin it out and see what we get. I know a lot of people have been having problems getting an ultra deep base and everything like that. So... I mean, if you have Australian Floetrol, I mean, you can still at least do that. So here's a closer look of that one after I spun it out. Again, I'd say that was a bloom. Here's the other close-up. Only thing I can tell is the other colors in the other one are seem to be brighter. I don't know. You can be the judge of that. Um, and with the one with the acrylic paint, the cells seem to be thicker. So here's some of the ones that I've done with acrylic paint that are dried. And I mean... The cells, the, I don't know which one called the veins and all that cells, they, they didn't disappear, they didn't get ate up in the base paint. Again, here's another one that, that I did. Uh, it's pretty much dry now. But I, I mean, in this one, disregard the paint chips just because it got carried away, scraping off the towel. But yeah, I mean, they dry just fine. I don't, yeah. So here we go. Here's the. I don't know, the the fun one, I guess, has some extra acrylic paint. So, throw them all in a cup. Hey, I'll do a ring pour. See what I get. I probably wouldn't do this with the ultra deep base and all that stuff, although I guess I could. <laughs> but, um, anyway, using the black cell activator, going to take that out. Here's your close-up. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't argue with the results. I mean, it, you get it. Um... The cells aren't as thick or as defined as the other ones, at least whenever you first blow it out. Um, so, it, I mean, yeah. Again, it's a pretty good test. Here's a close-up. I can't argue with it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Take care.